Welcome to AEDC. Today we are going to learn about needle jet ventilation. So needle jet ventilation is a temporary technique which is used for ventilation in cases where there is an upper airway obstruction or if the other non-surgical airways are failed. So for needle uh, jet ventilation we need some uh, machineries like that. We will be needing a, a two, two, two cc syringe, one for uh, checking backflow of air and the other for ventilation and we will be needing a 16 gauge cannula and also a, a, a ET2 connector which will be needing for connection between the syringe and the air, air flow tube. So we will be uh, explaining each and every one in detail. So for insertion of the needle we have a landmark. The landmark is the cricot thyroid membrane and the cricot thyroid membrane is found between the thyroid cartilage and the cricot cartilage. So if we uh, go down, we know the Adam's apple and if below it, we will be finding the cricothyroid membrane. This is, this is the uh, thyroid cartilage and this is the cricot cartilage. And the membrane between the, these two is the cricothyroid membrane. And if, if, when we pass our finger through the thyroid to the cricot uh, cartilage, there will be a depression in between. This is the cricothyroid membrane. And we will be inserting our needle to the cricothyroid membrane at an angle like 30 to 45 degree from uh, from the thyroid to the cricot uh, cartilage. So we will directly go to the step by step of insertion of a needle to the cricothyroid membrane. So we will be putting the 16 gauge cannula to the cricothyroid membrane. So we will uh, pass our fingers through the uh, thyroid cartilage. Then we will go down, we will be finding the cricothyroid membrane and below it we will be finding the cricot cartilage. So we will be inserting at an angle of uh, 30 to 45 degree and there is, we will get a pop when we go down to the cricothyroid membrane. And we will check whether there is backflow of air and from there we will remove uh, our needle and we will insert our uh, cannula into uh, the trachea. So following it we will insert the second uh, syringe with, which have an outlet valve for aspiration and also the ET tube connector. For To the ET tube connector we will be inserting the uh, O2 airflow and the airflow will be connected to the O2 source and from here O2 will be uh, given and we will be uh, obstructing the outflow at a, like for seconds like one, two, three, and we'll open it. And again, we'll be opening it like one, two, three, and again we'll be opening. This is how we'll open the outflow for respiration, and the air will be going inside, and we'll be keeping the O2 supply to the person uh, for like maximum up to 30 minutes in cases of emergency, and we will need a surgical cricothyroidectomy as soon as possible. So you can see the balloon. If you think the balloon is the lung, you can see the inflation of it when the air passes through.